So one of the things that I noticed about the social media haters that I have is that a lot of them are atheists. Translation. Haters basically means critics. It's because our beliefs couldn't be on more opposite ends of the spectrum. Atheists do not believe in the existence of a higher power, and psychic mediums claim to communicate with the higher power, angels, unicorns, fairies, whatever, on a daily basis. One basically claims that you don't actually have evidence for your beliefs. The other claims that they experience their beliefs and therefore they can confirm the supernatural because they experience it as being real. So we could not possibly be on more different pages. Well, you could say that. Those who claim not to know, therefore claim no reason to believe in a God and other relating ideas. And those on the other side who basically claim to have knowledge through experience and therefore can say they believe in effect being Gnostic. So these are some of the comments that atheists have had to say about me. You're delusional. This is the best laugh I've had in an idiot all day. You will end up in a prison or a mental hospital. You're a total fraud. You're a bleach blonde bimbo with blinders on and your reading comprehension skills are non-existent. You're an attention whore. Maybe you should get a real job. So you've had a variety of comments from people who might well be atheistic. They might not be if they haven't said you don't know that. And this is meant to be representative of atheists in general. And in all fairness, maybe you should get a real job. I, Christine Pavlina, would prefer to just allow everyone to live and let live. Let's just agree to disagree. You have your belief system, and I have my belief system. So let's just go on our merry way, live our lives, and be happy. You see, that's what most atheists actually do. They're not trying to ban your work, trying to stop you from doing it. They have reasons to criticise you, and some of the commenters sound a bit abrasive, I admit. But they're hardly representative of atheism in general. Right? Wrong. The other side came through and they said, Christine, we want you to find atheists, jump on their back, and put them in a sleeper hold until they agree to believe in a higher power. We want you to nuzzle your face in their neck and give them zerberts until they believe in a higher power. You see, this is the reason why many of your comments, or the ones you decide to bring forward, because they will say, perhaps you're an attention whore, which basically means you're making your videos for attention because that kind of attitude does suggest it. And if it's not that, then surely it's that you're very delusional about what you're actually going through and you believe that God or angels and guides are basically telling you what to do, like to go out there and preach. And I said, why? And they said, because we don't want them to cross over and find out they were wrong. Oh, brother. Absolute truth number one, a higher power exists. There is no debating this. We can't both be right, sorry. <laughs> and as the voice of the angelic realm, they're bringing the hammer down and saying, we're here to let you know via our medium, via our voice, a higher power does exist. Oh, okay. I thought she was gonna go down the route of a presuppositional argument. Instead, she's gone down the route of Hey, it's true because I'm a medium and I speak to angels, and if there's angels who say there's a god, then there must be a god. Period. End of story. It's the truth. It's the light. It's not debatable. It's not up for discussion and it's not up for opinion. This is a fact. So that's her level of evidence, is it? The idea that it's true and she knows it's true because she communicates with angels and they inform her that there's a higher power. That's what the other side is asserting. It's interesting to note that she says that it's coming from the other side, but we have no way of validating that. As far as I know, she hasn't been tested in proper controlled conditions to confirm that she indeed has some kind of ability, whether you call it psychic, spiritual, or whatever. So why should we accept what this woman says on faith? We do not want atheists to die and find out they were wrong. <laughs> I 
I hate to be so blunt, but I am trying to deliver the message as clearly and concisely as I possibly can. Number two, my assumption personally as Christine Pavlina, if you're an atheist and you live a good life, you'll be fine. Nope. This is another thing the other side just told me. And this is why people think that you're either a po or you're deluded. They said leading a good life, not enough. Nope. They said if you're an atheist and you think that leading a good life is fine and that's all you need to do, they said that's incorrect. The idea that good deeds don't count is kind of immoral. Why? Because blind faith is rewarded. And blind faith is hard. Isn't that contradictory? You've just said that your expertise, your communication with angels, is in some way evidential. And then you move on by saying, you should be able to carry on just blind faith. It's a lot harder to have blind faith in the existence of a higher power and literally jump off a cliff with that blind faith versus having scientific, logical, hard evidence that you can hold in your hand that a higher power exists. All cliffs to one side. There's a reason why blind faith isn't as good as actual evidence. Because when you have evidence, you can demonstrate it time and time again. You can confirm that a thing works in a certain way. And if you learn something new, you can adapt the theory. Blind faith is simply accepting things because, well, you've either been indoctrinated to accept them or you want to believe they're true. Why don't we have this hard, scientific you know, evidence? Why, why, why don't we have that scientific evidence? Because they don't want to give it to us. That's terribly convenient. Um, James Randi had a one million, he's retired now, but he had a $1 million challenge for any psychic medium who could come forward and based on his scientific standards, prove the existence of psychic abilities and the paranormal and they would win a million dollars. No one won it and he, he has since retired and retired the challenge, et, et cetera, et cetera. Technically speaking, that's not entirely true. The challenge still exists, it's no longer public. Basically meaning Joe Bloggs, the average medium psychic healer, isn't going to apply, but it will still be used for educational purposes from time to time. So I told the other side, let's do it. Let's do it. Let me take it. Let me take it. Let me take it. We'll show everybody. It'll be awesome. And they said no. And I said, why not? And they said, because we're not here to feed your ego, Christine. That's basically all ego based. And I said, well, why not? You could prove to everybody. And they said, what about blind faith? And this is why people think that you're a Pope. They said, you don't have that hard scientific evidence because we don't want to give it to you. No one has won James Randi's challenge because we don't want to give it to you. Of course. We don't want to. The answer is no. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. So basically what you're doing is you're betting your karma on the fact that you're correct and the other side is coming forward and saying that you're incorrect.